<laughs> hey everyone, my name is Matthew Griffin, better known as the Fanatical Futurist. I'm the CEO and founder of the 311 Institute, a futures and deep futures think tank, where we look at the future up to 50 years out. Now, as you'll sort of probably know if you've sort of been following some of these video blogs, but see, I'm actually a lecturer, so I've actually been lecturing at Carnegie Mellon University, uh, as well as Michigan State University, uh, University of Greenwich, UCL, Brunel, basically in the UK, and so on and so forth. But actually, I've also been teaching at secondary school. So at secondary school, as well as primary school, sort of been teaching kids basically about the latest emerging technologies. And those kids have typically sort of been in the bracket of eight-year-olds to around 16-year-olds. And actually, it's just surprising how little the older kids know, for example, about some of the latest emerging technologies, especially as the year 13s in the UK are actually starting to pick their university courses and actually head off to universities to actually develop careers basically that should really be spanning up to the year 2070, 2080. If we look at health and life extension technologies that are coming through as well. To be honest, some of the kids that are coming out of university today, as well as secondary school today, could actually be still working from a healthy perspective in the year 2100. Now, when we have a look at today's educational curriculums, you know they typically haven't changed in what, 100 to 200 years. Um, the headmasters and mistresses of secondary schools basically that I talk to say that the Oxford and Cambridge examination boards typically haven't actually reset the exams since the 1960s that the kids actually sit. Now, when we have a look at the pace of technological change today, you know, we've already seen with technologies like ChatGPT, where in the space of just really when it was released, you know, in the space of like two months, the academic establishments around the world felt basically that it was the end of education. They had to fundamentally reinvent education, etc., etc., etc. So why has it taken 100 to 200 years basically to kind of get this fervor around reinventing education for the modern age, let alone for the future age? When we all know basically that there is this increasing gap between the skills, the hard and soft skills basically that schools and universities are actually teaching and what's actually needed in the workforce. I mean, dare I, dare I mention basically the shortage of data scientists, software developers, cybersecurity experts and so on and so forth. And yet, despite the fact we have these shortages today, we know that we will have shortages of quantum computer programmers tomorrow, synthetic biologists tomorrow, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But when you have a look at the vast majority of both Western and Eastern educational curriculums, these subjects aren't even on there. You know, when we have a look, for example, at the UK school systems, how many schools are even teaching coding? How many schools are even teaching artificial intelligence? What exam do you sit for that? How many schools are teaching kids about entrepreneurial skills, digital transformation, et cetera, et cetera? How many schools are teaching children about Web 3.0? None, probably. I even met an economics professor the other day basically that said that the school, the secondary school that he was actually being asked to lecture at and teach at, had specifically asked him not to talk about cryptocurrencies because it was not in the exams and it was not seen as being relevant to the current UK national curriculum. Are cryptocurrencies essentially not one of the futures of money and the global economic system? Whether we're talking about central bank digital currencies, whether we're talking about stable coins, whether we're talking about private coins, basically like Ether, Tether, Bitcoin, and so on and so forth. We are essentially today lining children up basically for a future that is going to be very, very different to what we're experiencing today that the students have very little grasp of. This is part of the reason why organizations like Google, Meta, Facebook, um, as well as Microsoft and so on and so forth are actually creating their own nano degrees and putting them onto platforms like Coursera because the employers that I work with are increasingly saying, and have been for a while, students come out of university or students come out of secondary education. And while they have some soft skills, they fundamentally don't have a lot of the hard skills that we actually desire. So what we do is we take the core product, we take the core individual, and provided we understand that they can learn and they're passionate about whatever it happens to be, you know, the rough diamond, we then fashion them into a diamond by putting them through specialist courses that 
fill jobs that we actually need. So should we actually teach children about the latest emerging technologies? In terms of just a 101 or a 201 course, a kind of segue, an FYI, an enlightenment session, and so on and so forth. If you think yes, then you're on board with me. If you don't think so, DM me, let's have a chat. How will your children prosper in a future where artificial intelligence is the tractor? Where it potentially automates or partially automates, as many people have been saying to me as I travel around the world, up to 100% of jobs. Now, I don't think it's 100%, but certainly artificial intelligence is going to have an impact on 90% of jobs, blue collar and white collar. I can already show you how we can actually use AI to develop new code and programs and everything else, let alone generate content, replace influencers, replace lawyers, replace synthetic biologists, ironically, uh, as well as scientists and so on and so forth. How will your children thrive in a future, basically, that is fundamentally different to the one that we are in today? We have answers. If you go to the 311institute.com website, Click X Potential University. There's a lot of sort of free courses on there and primers and everything else. Because frankly, if the formal education system is not providing you with the skills and knowledge that you need to survive and thrive in the future, someone else has to. And I'm one of those voices. There are lots of others. So go to the website, take some of the primers, learn about some of the new technologies, what they are, what they can do, what they might mean for you in the future. And if you've got questions, just DM me. And that's it. So that's the end of my little video blog today. Maybe a little video rant. Uh, so <laughs> and take it easy. Until next time, like, sub sub subscribe, hit the bell, do whatever it is basically that influencers actually tell you to do. You don't have to do that, by the way, but it's always nice. Take it easy. Goodbye.